653 on this Thursday. We want to recap a few of your top stories. Judge in the trial of Erica Murray expected to deliver her verdict today in Worcester Superior Court. It's a bench trial. No jury here. Murray accused of killing one of her babies and of using two of her children in her squalid Blackstone, Massachusetts home. Other news, Governor Raimondo signing an abortion rights bill into law last night, moments after it passed in the Senate and House. Bill codifying abortion rights into state law no matter if the Supreme Court overturns a historic Roe versus Wade ruling. The Reproductive Privacy Act was debated for two hours in the Senate before it passed 21 to 17. It was then sent back to the House where it passed 45 to 29. Investigators in the Dominican Republic say the shooting that seriously wounded Red Sox legend David Ortiz last week was a case of mistaken identity. Lead prosecutor announced that a friend who was with Ortiz and wearing similar clothing that night was the intended target. Officials say a member of Mexico's Gulf Cartel orchestrated the hit. He remains on the run. 11 suspects now behind bars. A firefighter injured while battling a fire in Providence last night on Chalkstone Avenue about 7 p.m. Battalion chief saying that crews responded to reports of smoke coming from the building. They found the fire on the second floor. Quickly put it out, but again, a firefighter taken to Rhode Island Hospital with unknown injuries. That fire remains under investigation. A Worcester woman faced a judge yesterday following that rollover crash in Pawtucket last weekend. Police say 25-year-old Karina Dominguez Martinez crashed into some steps outside of a home, flipped the car, originally telling police that her name was Hello Kitty. According to witnesses, she was speeding without headlights on before losing control. Martinez charged with DUI, resisting arrest. And she was released on personal recognizance. Tomorrow is another big day at the State House. The full House of Representatives set to take up the new state budget. It's a $10 billion spending plan to meet some, but not all, of the items on the governor's wish list. Once it passes the House, it will go to the Senate for a final vote. And those are your top stories this Thursday morning. You can look for updates all day on Eyewitness News, the WPRI 12 app, and WPRI.com.